It's a wonder. Ish o isha kiafli. A man or a woman kiafli. Says Rashi, kiafli is yafrish, to separate yourself. And becoming a nazir, you're poresh, you separate yourself from the normal ways of the world. Says the Ibn Ezra, it's a wonder. Kiafli, pella. The nazir is really a pella, a wonder. As well as the rest of the world is immersed in desire, the Nazir acts in a wondrous way and is not. Nazir Elokav Arosho, a crown of God, is on his head. He, says the Ibn Ezra, is the true Melech, the true king. The rest of the world is in servitude, to different whims and desires. Not so the Nazir. He is the king. He reigns over himself. And so you and I, we are trying to become B'nai Aliyah, ascending people. And we are desiring closest to Hashem. What does it take? Of course, it takes you. It has to do with you. Your will, your consistency, active, engaged learning, contemplative prayer. It has to do with you. But let's speak about the necessary relationships, the essential relationships of one who desires to be a ben or a bas aliyah. Someone who's not ready to settle a comfortable life, but one who aspires for something much greater. Now being individuals, these relationships and how they're manifest in your life are subject to you. Your personality, your place in life, but the principles are true for everyone. These are the essential relationships for the Ben Aliyah, the one who wants to ascend. Sometimes you've heard them so often that they become cliche. Or as children say, I know that already. But it's MS Lamito, it's the truth that often is like hearing wisdom from an elderly person. We're unable to accept it because we're not at that reality of life. And so here it is. Yeshu and Prach Yomer Asei l'charav u'knei l'chachaver Make for yourself a Rebbe and acquire for yourself a friend. So let's speak about the friend. Three different ways will start more external and move internal. The Chabura, the group. The Chavrusa, the study partner. The Chaver, the close friend. The Chabura, the group. The Chabura is a group of people bond together for a similar spiritual purpose. Within a chabura, a good group, all the activities of the service of God is uplifted and altogether different. The tefillah, the prayer that one does in a good chabura, vastly different than not. Learning Torah within the Chabura raises that level and intensity of learning versus not. But that's not what a Chabura is. A Chabura is an atmosphere. It's an atmosphere where every time you walk in there it constantly reminds you 
of everything you are aspiring for. Even external relationships to members of a Chabura raises you. One fellow is careful about not speaking Lashon Hara. Another is careful about his Bodhidharma's constant conversation with Hashem. Another is careful about exactness to the Halacha. Each of those individuals raise you and reminds you of what you're aspiring for in life. Say our sages about a Chabura, better to be the tail of a lion and the head of foxes. Being the smallest member of a Chabura, a good Chabura, is far greater than being the top of a Chabura group. It's not strong. Because it's not a matter of competition. It's a matter of the yachid, the individual, being raised as a Ben Aliyah. Take it. Take it from Rabbi Lazar Ben Arach. He was the prime disciple of Rabbi Yochanan Ben Zakkai. Beacon of light. Sanctity and wisdom. He outweighed all the other sages single-handedly. The apple of the eye of his Rebbe. He became a shell of a man when he treated the Beis HaMedrash for the Bahamas. And all of his friends said, we're going to Yavna, because in Yavna, that's where the Chacham and the sages are. And he chose the place. The air was good, and the environment was beautiful. and became a shell of his former self. Chabura. Chavrusa, the study partner. In the Olam Agashmi, in the material world, there are some things better done alone. Like enjoying the steak. Some things better done with a group. Having a beer. In the Olam Aruchni, the spiritual world, there are some things better done alone. His bodhis speaking to God. And there are some things better done together, learning. Reading from a safer by yourself, that's reading. This is not learning. Learning means to actively engage the seichel, one's mind, in Torah to challenge, to wrestle, and to struggle, to ask and to answer. To understand and then not to understand. And then not to understand more. And then to understand. This is learning. Seir HaChamim, Cherev al Habadim v'no'alu. A sword on those who learn alone. V'no'alu, and they become fools. Says Racham Barchanina, just as a knife can only be sharpened only on the side of another, so also a Talmud Chacham only improves through his chaver, his friend. That's learning and a chavrusa. Take it. Take it from Allah Zabin Arach. Because when he parted from his chabura, his chavrusa. He returned many, many years later. They honored him with reading the Torah. And they were reading from the parish of Achodesh Hazalachem. This month is yours, is to you. And instead he read, Hacheresh Haya Libam. Their hearts were deaf. He explains Rebuva Margolis. It's a beautiful commentary. He says, Rabbi Lezeb ben Arach was a machadeh. She was someone that had new ideas, new energy, brilliant concepts that he brought forth from the Torah. But when he left the Chavrusa, he left a study partner, 
he became dull. His heart was deaf. He was unable to hear the depth within the Torah. And his former brilliance was faded. Chavrusa, the study partner. And then the closest. Chavr. What is this Chavr? Says the Rambam, an explanation in this Mishnah, in Avos, Amnan Ohid Bitachon, a friend of security, who Shiyela Adam Ohev Tiftach Naf Shobo, person has a friend, he's completely secure. Lo Yishmar Mimenu, Lo Bemasav, Lo Bedipor, he's not guarded from him, not in their action, not in what he says. The Yodiyeu Kol in Yanov, he shares everything. Tov mehem vahamaguna, the good and the bad. Mi bilti shiyari mimenu shiyasigeu b'cholza, without being afraid that his friend will judge him about it. Good friend, the Chaver Tov. means it's safe enough to be honest with him and he's straight enough to be helpful. This Chavar Tov you don't hide from him and he not from you then the growth of the person really begins to happen. Or else everything is fine, everything is good. But when you reveal the insides and the Chavar can say this we need to change this is not you then the growth and the midos and the transformation of the person occurs his chaskas the friend is also there to strengthen you times in life a person loses belief in themselves in the kochos, the powers, the strength Hashem gave them and how they are really special. They lose that belief and they succumb to yeyush, despondency, despair, a tactic of the Yitzhar. And there the Chavartel, the good friend, reminds you and strengthens you. Not a pep talk, not cheerleading, but reminds you of your godless, your greatness and what you really have inside and who you really are and what you're aspiring for. This is the Chavar Tov. All this implies, however, that this Chavar is also striving, like you. They share your perceptions and your Hashkafa, a view, a Torah view. Such a close friend, however, cannot be a chavara, a bad friend. A chavara means chavar, it's someone that you have a kinship with, a closeness to, but ra, it's not good for you. And we dive in every day choice. Harchikeinu me adam ra o me chavara. Keep us far from a bad person and a bad friend. Don't let that person that you have the close kinship with be, be that friend. Because then, instead of raising oneself, one goes down. And that closeness, that intimacy that one shares with a friend does not lead to aliyah, but to yurida. Not ascending, but descending. And over time, the perspectives and the hashkafa of that friend wears itself on you. Then a person says, no, I will influence him, I will influence that person in their relationship. I will draw them close to the Torah. But that's not their relationship of chaver. Chaver means that you're receiving just as much as you are giving. 
And if you're receiving and you need that other person, that means you're absorbing. It means you're taking in the other person's perspectives, their ashkafa. And so acquire for yourself a friend. An essential relationship in the Ben Aliyah, the one who's ascending, Chabura, a good group of people that are aspiring for a similar thing, will keep you from stagnation and reminding you constantly what you're striving for. Chavrusa sharpens oneself in Torah, in learning. Chavr, a good friend, one you can confide in, you can share, and it can help you ascend. <laughs>